we take this as a persecution of the Omogusi community by President William Ruto, and we think this persecution has been provoked by the independence of mind that has been exhibited by the control of budget, especially our remarks at the National Dialogue Committee sittings, where she condemned the enhanced taxation measures by the current regime, including the housing level. If the president wants political war with the Omogusi community, then we are ready for it. And we want to warn the president that enough is enough for the Omogusi community. This is perhaps the only high-ranking position that we have as the Omogusi community. We don't have any PS. We don't have a permanent secretary from the Omogusi community. So we don't understand why it's taken if this offense was alleged to have been committed in 2016. Why now? Why now? And, and even the circumstances under which Madam Nyakamu was arrested sends a message of a regime that is asked to silence members of independent commissions who want to express themselves freely and in accordance with the law and the constitution. And we condemn this coward, coward acts by the executive and we appeal to Kenyans of goodwill to join us in resisting this primitive persecution of people serving in independent commissions. officer who has committed an offense should not be arrested and charged. But clearly, when the controller of budget of the Republic of Kenya is arraigned when we know that government is basement to various government agencies, including the bursary money, has not been processed and released. So clearly, this is either an attempt to derail the government operations or is drama being created to justify why funds have not been released to various government agencies. As member of parliament of West Mugrango, where Dr. Margaret Nyakango hails from, I stand with instructions from the people of West Mugrango and Wusi to say that an attack on Dr. Margaret Nyakango, as has happened today, is an attack on the accountancy profession, and I invite ISPAC to rise to the occasion. It is an attack on women professionals of this republic, and I invite women of this republic to stand and deal with this. It is an attack on our constitution, and we will not take it lying down. Let me now tell you what Ms. Nyakango has done. She basically came out and said the store has been broken into and the money is being taken. She said it. You guys are members of the media. So you had her say so. The consolidated fund is now easy accessibly available. The control of budgets has no access to it. What we are talking about is that people who are doing their jobs are now being victimized and are now being taken to court. In fact, some of us who are critics of the government are expected to, are expected to be taken to court. Can they hurry up and come and get some of us quickly? Because we are not going to stop this nonsense. We will talk about the issues. We will raise them. Madam Nyakango has been saying it. We are mismanaging our finances and we are mismanaging our country in a very polite way. I called one of my friends who is in leadership in the house. And I told him, what is that nonsense I saw? That was last week. He told me, and he sent me a message. He said, tell her to stop talking too much. What do you mean you tell her to stop talking too much? Some of us talk too much. You can't stop me. That's the job I have. I'm going to tell this government over and over and over that the things which you are accusing Ms. Nyakang of doing, that is the job you gave her.
She said you are over borrowing, you are over spending on nonsensical things, you are coming up with fake deals, you are buying fuel that doesn't exist, you are eating the money, and all Kenyans are watching and looking at the government. And I want to plead with President William Ruto. Those who much responsibility has been given, more, much, much more is expected of it. It started with Fred Matiangi. The story ended. It came up with Madam Nyakango. There's another story that is coming up. We have other individuals who are working from the Kisi community who are qualified and professional enough because they are called that these were Uhuru orphans. They must be gotten rid of so that other properly engaged individuals can be given.